and welcome back to my channel I am Yoshida and this is Norris Co. so today we're gonna get into part two of this budget series I've been debating on this I, I filmed a I've already filmed the whole segment but I didn't like it because I seemed to be all over the place because I was kind of just thinking off the top of my head and I didn't think it made sense to anyone else but me so basically I believe in part one we talked about you know reaching that zero base budget and how you would take the minimum amount that you think that you make and you're going to total that up with your expenses and how we came out to a zero base budget so here is when I broke it down so for me I'm gonna break it down so this is part two after you get that monthly income and if you're self-employed again if you're a bartender hairstylist makeup artist nail technician dog walker I don't know if you get paid on a daily basis if you um, you know I guess you could be a server as well because you receive tips things like that so this is what your minimum amount for the month would be now you're gonna take that divide that by four and I have 3500 so now I'm at 875 875 a week well I don't necessarily make 875 a week so what you're going to do is basically say, hey, this is what I make pretty much per week. Then you're going to break down what you can pay. So week one, I have it here. So my week one, to stay up under that 875, everything that I need to pay, Schedulicity, Apple, Amazon, Sale Bill, all those things are due in my week one. They total, like, with my booth rent, I think it's less than 581 and then with my variables such as gas, products, and spending, and then we'll get into our variables a little later. But this is what it's going to basically cost you. So you're still up under that 875. You still should have some money left for savings, and then you definitely want to def excuse me. You definitely want to put some into your savings. Then you have your 875 week two. This let me zoom in. I'm sorry. So that's week two, 875 week two. I know it looks like scribble scrabble but it made sense so I just wanted to break it down so then in week two I have to pay my car note I have Aflac um, gas what else um, whatever else you had to pay so this stuff pretty much and then I didn't add booth rent but it's up basically 538 again you're up under that 875 so that gives you wiggle room so each week just make it your goal to stay under 875 you may make 875 that week you may make a thousand that week that does not mean that you spend the extra you'll put that to a side and we'll get into our variables later so that week let's say a variable is basically gas for your car uh, products the for your business things like that and I would suggest setting a budget for your products setting a budget for your personal spending setting a budget for what you're going to put into your savings so basically again bi-weekly or weekly 875 is times four is this 3500 so then you'll have a five week okay when you get five weeks that's an extra week in the month so then that possibly would go up to eight, another 875 again you want to give yourself some wiggle room and you want to stay within up under that 875 because again um, like I had a week where I didn't make this 875 let's say I only made 800 and then the 75 I mean this is just an example whatever your uh, I'm doing air quotes whatever your monthly lowest income is could be totally different you can make five thousand dollars a month and that would give you about a thousand a week you know on a, on a five month I mean excuse me a five week month so that's about a thousand dollars a week but then let's say that first week you don't make that thousand you only make eight hundred but then on the second week you make the tw you make twelve hundred so basically that's how you plan so I hope that makes sense because I do want this um, series to be so helpful um, I had to just like I said just run the numbers and basically jot everything down that's why it looks like scribble scrabble so I did make a video of me doing this but it was just basically off the top of my head so 
Let's talk about variable expenses. Here, variable expenses like your gas, your grocery, miscellaneous products, things that varies, things that are that are not always the same. You definitely need gas, you de but there are things that you need. You definitely need gas, you definitely need groceries, you definitely need miscellaneous, and then you definitely need some products if you're running a business. Um, unless you are like a server, you pretty, pretty much don't need um, products, unless you need a notepad, unless you're responsible for maybe like your own notepad. Um, so we got our variables. Let's talk about sinking funds. Here in the sinking funds, this this is where you're going to pour um, sinking funds. Let me see if I can break that down. There are a lot of videos out here on sinking funds. Sinking funds is basically funding something for the future. So let's say, for instance, car. Christmas. Christmas is a great one because for Christmas, a lot of times, so many people struggle and they'll take maybe the whole week and don't pay no bill and then put it all on Christmas. No, we're not doing that in 2019. So what you want to do is start a fund. Um, right now, if you start $100 a week in your Christmas fund, you definitely would have enough by Christmas. Or you can do $100 a month and you would still have enough depending on what, you know, how many children you have and things like that travel so let's say for instance you like to travel but you never really seem to can afford it well if you start a fund you can do that um, I have grocery here like sometimes um, well, my husband takes care of the groceries towards the end of the month and then the beginning of the month towards the middle when those groceries have kind of run out I'm responsible so I've given my budget of like 200 and so I can actually cut that in half because I'll buy cheap I'll they'll eat steakums if I got to pay so you can cut that in half. Um, your products, you got to know the products that you like, how much you're spending with a distributor that's coming in or at the store, and what you need monthly. I highly suggest on that big week or when, let's say the first month is busy for you, and let's just take two, three hundred dollars, go get your products for the month. You're good, okay? So sometimes I'll do that, or sometimes it depends. If I'm been fooling around with my money, I gotta nitpick and get one, two, three, three things a week. Um, dental, that's not necessarily. Um, I just have it because I have a special dentist that I like for cleanings. Um, taxes, oh my God, this is so important. Um, I slack in this department, but taxes are basically 30% of your income. And so that 30% for me, um, I basically took it to 262.50. Um, savings again, that's definitely a sinking fund because you want to put into that and all your sinking funds, not all of them, but at least the majority of these need to go into cash envelopes. Well, your sheet of water cash envelopes, let's switch over here. Cash envelopes, you're going to get an envelope. Let me see if I got. I had made some. Let me see if I can find them. I can't find them right now, but basically, you just get an envelope. You can take some Office Depot, I mean, yeah, Office Depot envelopes and write on it. This is for my taxes. This is for my Christmas travel. All that on these envelopes, and you're going to each week put a certain amount so let's say each week I'm putting five in that's just this is just hypothetical okay this is not real it's hypothetical so each week I'm adding five to my um, taxes I'm adding 20 to my car savings um, products I'm adding 20 that's how the cash envelope system works okay now over here I talked about color coding if you're just a visual person and you want to do color coding to write your stuff out and color code your expenses give each color a name that's all you have to do and that's pretty much it for our budget series for number series number two um, in series number three we're gonna go into talking about ways that you can save um, I don't know how long this series is gonna run because I keep having ideas but then I don't want to confuse anyone and I want to be as thorough as possible so if you have any questions please leave me a question in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer also um, get you one of these they're $1.99 you can write things out I used to just have one of these and I would put 
week one, what is due, how much I make, how much I need to make. That works as well. It's a visual. So it can be very simple. I also budget in here. I mean, just whatever works, okay? I also have a coupon code below on an Erin Condren Deluxe or any of their products. You can get $10 off your first order, okay? So check that out and come back for um, part three in this series. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.